Well, good morning with B158 heading eastbound and welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. We're due in North Baltimore. It's because that we're doing some early well fitting on the Willard subdivision. If you want to know why, you can see that the title is because that we are here for a very special heritage locomotive being led on CSX's Animal bound for North Baltimore, Ohio. He's coming from Philadelphia, around that area, basically. He must have been coming from New Jersey or something, so I don't know if he came from Philadelphia area or Fort New Wall or something like that. I'm not sure, but whatever he's coming from, he's coming from the very far east of the coast. And this P158 is being loaded. Well, it kind of looks like antique, but I think it's loaded. Couldn't see it from there. But he's going eastbound, and this is actually our first train this morning. And I've been out since 6 o'clock a.m. So we're now here at North Baltimore. Got here at like 7.30. Dog train coming, and I thought that would be like a manifest or something, like an intermodal, but it's not. It's a Coke Train Express. Well, this is N565 from Cleveland, Ohio, but the symbol did change from Buffalo, New York, to all the way to Chicago, Illinois. If you guys are wondering, why are you here at North Baltimore waiting for nothing special? Well, the unit that I was being heads up by the day before that is very special and at this time it was my first carriage locomotive from CSX but however by the time I'm editing this video I've been seeing four of the heritage locomotives already um, if you guys are wondering man if I ever saw four heritage units already why did I post this one so soon well, maybe because I had others to upload and stuff. So I really didn't have time for this one. There goes my friend Sam sitting on his chair. And this is an animal coming from North Baltimore all the way to Port Newark, New Jersey. This one's I-158. He's departing the yard at like 8 o'clock in the morning. The gauge would be going back up because he's going quite slow because, well, he was working the yard and then now he's departing the yard. The gauge would be going back down and let's just get this I-158.
168 is the Chicago to Port Newark, New Jersey, or New Bergen. Probably is a New Bergen, New Jersey founder. But there was this one set of cars that were just basically loaded with containers. And now the west of the train, the I-168, is basically all empty. Air cable. So I don't know why that's like that. Maybe because they're like headed to New Bergen or somewhere like that that they need more and something like that. I don't know. It's just kind of weird because since 2022, it's been kind of weird with the, a lot of empty air cables. So I'm not sure if a lot of containers are coming back from the, the other side of the world and stuff like that. I'm not sure. But I just think it was kind of weird seeing all these empty air tanks. Well, that was cool, seeing two CSX locomotives and then two other BNSF locomotives. This is a G110 from Burnswick, Maryland to Chicago, Illinois. This one's going to be heading for Cicero, Illinois to interchange with the BNSF there. And then he'll go west from there. What's cool about this train is Sometimes we get pretty good stuff on this whatever grand train that this one is. G110. Sometimes we can get pretty good stuff on G110 a lot of times. Both of the typically times that we'll get the BNSF power that we'll be leading. Or either that, the CSX locomotives or NS. We get a lot of foreign power sometimes. Sometimes foreign power will lead it. But I think sometimes CSX is also do that this thing as well. N560 would actually get a new crew out of North Baltimore Yard and then he would probably go over to Cleveland or Willard to get a new crew once again. 
and then whatever. But 560 comes from Queensgate Yard in Cincinnati, Ohio to all the way to South Kirk, New York and South Kirk Yard. Today's 560 has a mace, SD70 mace, leading the way, heading towards South Kirk. But he would get probably get a new crew out of either Willard or Cleveland, Ohio. This is probably I don't know, but probably like six train today. We seen quite a bit today. Like we've seen a lot of trains. Usually it's pretty dead in the morning on the Willard up. But this morning it actually has been quite busy. So I don't know if it's traffic or something like that, like there's a derailment or something, but man, it's just busy. Probably because of, from the 4th of July, everybody was probably taking a day off on the 4th of July. When I think about it, I don't think they take days off on the 4th of July. Yesterday was kind of like a holiday, so maybe. B522 from Detroit to Middletown, Ohio. This is basically a daily steel train from Detroit. And today's leaders would not be too special, but an ET44GE 
why can Jivo would be leading the way. This is a tier 4 Jivo, and then the other one is a DC Jivo, or I don't know what type of model that one is, but I think it's a, a normal Jivo on that one. Whatever, he's going down to Middletown, Ohio, taking the Y from Fostoria, and then taking the Y again to go south towards from Deschler to, to go towards Middletown on the old Toledo subdivision. Soon, I will probably be focusing on the Toledo sub. I don't know when, but it will probably be soon. Probably like sometime next year or something. I don't know when, but there's always something around this area. Like the new CSX's heritage locomotives. There's actually a couple of them that I still need to see this day. That that sometime I am editing this right now, so stay tuned of all the other action videos that I will probably be posting. Here he is, the Chelsea Heritage student, that I would spoil it now, because, well, the locomotive that we would be seeing is here, I-157. He's finally here, he actually cleared Fox Oil around 9.20 or 9.30, but he's then now here, he was actually around the corner, like, by Galtia around... 9.45 but 
he was scheduled to go by here around 9.55-ish in the morning. Let's take a look of this Jesse Heritage unit, 1973. Nineteen seventy three was actually the second heritage unit that was actually being painted in Waycross, Georgia. At this time it was being revealed for the third heritage unit of CSXs. The third one was the the Seaboard Heritage, nineteen eighty two. There's actually I think there was some seaboard tracking in Ohio, I think. Maybe not, maybe in West Virginia, I think. So, I-157 would actually go slow through here, because I don't think they will be lined or get their approval to go into the yard just yet. Well, they're back on a move after quite a bit of time. They would actually get back on a move because they would actually get their request from the yard master to go into the yard. And at this point, this would be the last time to be in old Baltimore. But I think I will come back here in a future time next year. Maybe not the rest of the year but maybe sometime next year when I'm in the Deschler or North Baltimore area. Let's just get the rest of this train going into the yard.
Here comes the rear DPU. The rear DPU does not matter. The lead locomotive does. And the reason why is because at this time it was my first CSX Heritage locomotive. But when I'm editing this video, I would have four Heritage units but still have two to go. But until next time, this video will be signing off here in North Baltimore, Ohio. And I'll either see you guys in the Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Wells.